It's time for the glitz, the glamour, and the tea in Hollywood. Spill, baby, spill. Spill the tell, spill the tea. Uh, Renee is here to spill the tea for us and all the latest headlines about your favorite stars. Good morning, Renee. Good morning, you two chefs. I'm making that recipe. Oh, it's delicious. So good. Oh, my God, it was delicious. Amazing. Highly recommend. But not as amazing on the countdown on social media to Taylor Swift's Torture Poets Department album release. Mm-hmm. All right, Swifties, get ready. So her new album drops this Friday, and Apple Music has been releasing little one-word hints and Easter eggs on Apple Music. Well, now, of course, Instagram is getting into it. And if you follow Taylor Swift on Instagram, there's going to be a pull-down. You'll see it'll be very clear to you. There's a drop-down. You click it, and they're going to have a countdown to the album release with special Easter eggs in it, and you've got to follow certain hashtags. I mean, on threads, there's conversations about this. You're going to be hashtag TTPD or hashtag the Torture Poets Department or hashtag Torture Poets. I can't keep up Swifties. Hashtag Swifties, hashtag this, hashtag that, hashtag I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but if you're a Taylor Swift fan, you're, you're going to be hashtagging away. Hashtagging, right. hashtagging. That's what making next week for SP of the Week a, hash, a hashtag. <laughs> there you go. Well, and isn't this album is a really big deal because isn't it more of an autobiography of some of her past relationships of recent? I mean, one could say that's what every one of her exactly. Albums that's true. About, that's true. But it, with the I, most recent guy, you are absolutely learn. right. So there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of talking after this album's released. All right. Okay. All right. Artists could soon have more protection against AI. What's the deal with the new contract? You so, you guys, I'm a little bit concerned about this. This stuff makes me nervous. I'm just scrolling down to the story right here. But um, basically, SAG Ashra came up with an agreement um with with the the recording industry and they're going to put together some pretty strict laws and putting protections in place for uh only human voices or human acting voices because um they're worried that the ai is just literally going to take over all of all of their rights and so they actually have language now in contracts that say the terms artist singer and royalty artists under this agreement only includes humans. This is a huge deal, and this is a huge win for sag after and it's a huge win for artists, even people like us yeah, who, who talk for a living on the air. No, seriously. It's, it's very scary. Yeah, no, 100%. I totally agree with you. Crazy. It is, it's a crazy world. I know. And, you know, it's this is just like the beginning, right? We're just, like, learning about AI and right. its capability. In another 20 years, I'm sure our conversation will look even different, <laughs> even more different. But we'll just enjoy the limited real. AI. I'm not even here right now. <laughs> Renee, <You're a> hologram. <laughs> Renee, hashtag Renee. <laughs> I'm glitching. I'm glitching. I'm glitching. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what can you tell us about the latest trial for the deadly yeah, shooting on the set good. of Rust? This is not over by a long shot, and this is so heart-wrenching for the family, but um, the armorer, that's the woman who you know provided the ammunition and the guns on the set, her name is Hannah uh, Gutierrez-Reed. She has been sentenced to 18 months in prison for her connection to the fatal shooting of cinematographer Hal, I'm, I'm, I hope I'm saying the name right, Halna Hutchins uh, by Alec Baldwin in 2021, and she has been convicted uh, actually in March of involuntary manslaughter after live rounds instead of blanks were used in Baldwin's gun during the production. So we're still watching that story mm -hmm. and they expect more uh, convictions. So interesting because, you know, at first I think everyone was like, it's an accident. But then when there's an investigation, a trial into what exactly happened leading up, obviously with someone's life lost, yep. you know, it's like, wow, there's there's a lot more checks and balances that go into this. It's crazy. Unbelievable. All right. Well, go ahead. Ray. There never should have been live ammunition. No, exactly. Sorry, right. 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 Exactly. Yeah. exactly. It's wild. All right. Why could Channing Tatum and uh, Jenna Dewan be heading to divorce trial? So this is the longest divorce in history. It's been going on for six years, you guys. Now, you may remember when they were married, Channing Tatum was Magic Mike, and that was a massive hit. Well, uh, Jenna's saying and her legal team are saying, well, he used some of their marital money and assets to help put up for that. Because as you know, he produced, he put a lot of his life into this. And it's a multi-million dollar hit. They're expecting this movie to reach in the billions in our lifetime. And Jenna's like, you know what? Um, I need to have a little piece of that. And they are, and, and Channing's like, no, I'm the one that did this. And she's like, well, we were married and you know, the California rules and listen. <laughs> 
It's going to get sticky like like our honeybees. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Renee. Aww, we appreciate it. Thanks, Have a great Renee. day. See you Friday. Have a great day. <laughs> All right. We have a fun show ahead.